Hey guys, welcome back. We are out here checking the muskrat traps once again today. Froze up a little bit, but most of the houses are still open water around them. So it looks like at the first one, we got this nice looking rat right here. And then the other trap that was next to this one was just set off. So we'll go ahead and get these redone here. This looks like a pretty nice rat, you know, nothing too big, just average run of the mill. Go ahead, set them in our pack basket. I'm actually gonna move this over just a touch. Just so I know that they won't interfere with each other. So we got that. Nope, well. Guess we're getting wet. I'll actually pull it up first because there's a crease in it. All right. So this is just a number one coil spring vector. As you guys can tell by the pan. So yeah, we'll go ahead and reset this one and also the other one, and we'll move on to the next hut. All right guys, so we're at set number four. So the first set we checked, we got that average muskrat. Two sets, we didn't get anything sadly. And then this is the fourth set here. And we got another nice, let's see, nice looking muskrat here. Got them in, I believe it's just a little single spring, yeah. Very good. Let's get him out of there. And then, yeah, he went ahead. This is a nice little V platform, so right around it, about three feet. I kind of cleared the way so it's nice and deep here, so they go ahead and dispatch right away. So this guy's ready to go in. We'll go ahead and reset the trap. And then we'll go ahead and get moving to the next set. Before we move on to the next set here, I just wanted to show you guys, this is the single spring that does not have a pan. <laughs> it's just this little nub right here that gets set off. So. He stepped on it just right and got it perfect. So it just shows you that any trap can go ahead and catch a catch an animal as long as it's in the right place at the right time. So don't ever get discouraged if you don't have the best traps. So yeah, we'll go ahead, reset it just like it was before and move to the next one. We're out here checking the traps. It's been two days since I put these out, so. <clears throat> We're actually checking these on Thanksgiving here. Looks like we got a nice rat right here. Let's see, I don't wanna get my gloves all wet. He got caught in the old coil spring and got all tangled up. So, worked perfect. I'm just gonna move my gloves all the way so they don't get it wet when I toss them in there. Yeah, right now it's warm enough and windy enough. It's at 35 degrees right now where the actual water isn't freezing on this pond so much which is very nice Let's see he really got tangled up in all this crud that's washing across the wind's been blowing all this stuff right across into the trap location so it really just kind of buggers it up Up here. 
That way we can actually pull all this stuff right off. Most of the sets that I put out are actually on the inside, so they're out of the wind. That way this doesn't happen, but this spot was just too good. I didn't want to pass it up. But we'll have to go ahead and clear all this stuff back out prior to putting this back. So we'll get them out. And that was only a couple toe catch, so he couldn't have been alive in there too long or else he would have broken his way out. Nice looking average muskrat. Gonna be kind of typical of what we're gonna get in this location, but thankfully we are still catching them even though it is pretty chilly out they're still moving which is perfect right now because once all this freezes up can't really use footholds anymore unless you put them inside the huts we'll just get all that moved out of the way so it's not gonna interfere with the next one And toss the gloves back in. Real mucky bottom. Get all this pulled out. Yeah, let me know how your guys' season's going so far. As your area's froze up yet, what are you guys targeting? Always love to hear that kind of stuff see what everyone's going for this year. Since prices are pretty, pretty rough right about now. Right here, you can see they're running up to put more stuff on top of the house for winter. And then there's also this little path that they use to go sit underneath for protection and also eat. What we're gonna do is go ahead and actually put this trap right at like the intersection of that. So we're gonna move some of this stuff all the way, make it nice and good for a trap. So right there, they're gonna run through, they're gonna get caught. They come this way, they're gonna get caught. They try going up the ramp, they're gonna get caught. So nice, easy set. One that you can check pretty easy. You don't need to tie it off to anything super big, like all I have is a stake. Been in the ground for a while. We'll push it down a little bit more. But I always try to move your stake, at least for me, I try to move it more towards deep water. That way it helps push them that way. Because you want them to go this way. You don't want them to just go sit back there. So yeah, we'll keep moving. Hopefully we got a couple more in the traps. This little bit of a warm spell that we're having hopefully drew them into running around a little bit more, more chances to catch them. So we'll keep moving on. Checking the next house. Looks like we got a average rat here just completely destroyed this area. <laughs> uh, to be expected from them. Let's see what we got here. Take off my glove. See how big this guy is? Oh, my glove came off. Kind of. Eh, he's average. We're getting a solid, solid average out of this area. Yeah, they're, they're all moving around right now because 
they're in panic mode. The water's going down. They're like, oh geez, half of our huts are not even in the water anymore. We need to get moving. Rightly so, they do. So that's kind of what we're helping them out with. We need to catch as many as we can before ice because that's when a lot of them are going to die just because there's no water left. It's, this side might stay open with the runs, but the other marsh definitely won't. This one, depending on how cold it gets, it might. <laughs> Let's see here what we got. Do we got anything? Not feeling the cable. So we might, we'll go ahead, pull it up here. I just can't find it. We missed. So they're here, they're moving a lot. So we got a lot of chances. This is kind of one of those days that it might even be worth coming out two times a day if you have the time. I just don't. Um, once in the morning, once in the evening, just to try to catch these guys while they're moving. So I'm probably, let's see. Let me see where the best side would be. We'll go ahead, make a nice little safe cubby for them. Right there. Just push the stake down in this nice deep water. Just like that. That way when they get caught, they run over here. Dispatch right away. We'll get some of this stuff off so I can actually see the dog. And we'll go ahead and set the trap here. Lift the pan up to meet. Got that. We'll set this right, right in that cubby. They're gonna go up there to eat. Good protection for them. So they're gonna love that area. Boom, get caught. Or they're gonna just be running along close, get caught. We'll move on to the next for you guys. At the next hut here. So this is probably maybe 20 yards away. I can see fur floating right here. Means we got us something. Get this pulled up. Another average looking rat using a 1.5 on this one actually. So he went down for the count real quick. Good areas. You just need to know where to set, just set where it looks like they're coming up to put more stuff on the houses or if they're setting under something. They sit on down trees and stuff like that. Real good places. You can also use 110s on these, put them slightly in the water with like a carrot on them. They'll get caught by that. Pretty easy to catch these guys. Looks like there's actually leeches in the water, so, which is to be expected. This nasty stuff. We'll go ahead and get this reset for you guys. We got that trap put in the water there. Exactly where it was last time. Put on my gloves just to make sure I didn't get any leeches on me. Get those off of the trap. We'll go ahead and move. I did have a trap set back in that direction, but the water is so low back there now, I don't even think that they're using that hut anymore. So I actually moved it to a very large hut 
on a channel over here instead. So we'll actually go ahead and check that one here. At this next set here, you can already tell we have something because all of that damage over there. Obviously, I didn't do that. There is something fighting that trap. Go ahead, take off the pack basket, grab our gloves out, move these gloves to the side. Today's turning out to be a pretty decent day, at least. Four rats, but this one, one set off trap, so it could have been five, but let's see where this thing is. Let's see which trap was he caught in here. This trap is still set that I had right over here, going up on the house. Go ahead, put that one back in. I will actually find, oh, moved it. Grab this guy. Get all this stuff out of the way for us. And this guy was caught in that 1.5 coil as well. Really good traps if you have them and you're not using them for raccoons at the time. Really good rat sets. They just take them down real quick. I should wash this guy off a little bit. Yeah, decent looking rat. Get all the water off that we can. I always try to dry off your fur the best you can. I always put them in the back of my truck on the way home so they get air dried pretty well. Another average rat, you know. They call them at, they don't call them average for nothing, you know. You're gonna catch a lot of average looking rats just because that's what's around, you know. Hopefully we'll go ahead and actually catch a Nice big one for you guys here, sooner or later. Go ahead and make sure this looks good. It looks fine. That looks good. One thing about water gloves that I wish, they'd get them to fit your hands a lot better. If you guys have any water gloves that you found to fit your hands where you can actually set traps with them, leave it down below. Because those I can never set these traps with just because they're just so bulky. This trap was just set right over there. I'll actually go ahead. Now that I got Leeches on my mind. A lot more cautious. I thought it might have killed them with that last cold spell, or at least put them into dormant status. Well, apparently not. This trap was just set right on this side. They just run right along, snap, get hit, go ahead and drown. We'll move on to the last set. I don't see any disturbance over there, so I don't have high hopes. But this weekend we'll actually go ahead and move a lot of the unproductive sets around. No point in having them in the same place if they're not going to connect. 
We're back at the truck here. Figured I would show you the day's haul. We got the five muskrats today. Didn't have any DPs or anything like that out since I didn't, I wasn't checking them daily. So just had those set off. We'll go ahead and reset those for this weekend and then go from there. But yeah, five rats for two days for the traps that we had set out is pretty good, I would say. Well, mostly average rats, this one's the biggest right here. But yeah, I would say that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. If you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave it down below. As always, let me know how your guys' season is going. I really enjoy hearing about it. What are you targeting the most? How many have you gotten so far? Have you guys tried selling any fur this year? Have you kind of any ideas of what you're getting? So always love to hear that about you guys. As always, feel free to share this video. Help us grow. We're almost at 100 subs uh, right now. But by the time that this video comes out, hopefully we already surpassed that. So let's get to 1,000, man. We're almost there. <laughs> but as always, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.